is this is going to be our first video in my series on how to make a CSGO gambling site. This particular one would be Jackpot. If you guys want to see any sites like Roulette, Coin Flip, Crash, anything like that, let me know down in the comments as well as any problems you have. Uh, let's just get started. So this will be showing you how to make the site. So first thing you want to do is you're going to go down to the comments set or the description. I'll have a link to my uh, DigitalOcean link which will give you a free $10 when you sign up. So once you're at DigitalOcean, you'll just once you click the link, it'll bring you to this page where you'll sign up. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna hit log in. And I'll log into that. So once you're in and you add your five dollars to your account, you should have ten dollars on your account, which you can see when you go to account and billing. Uh, I do not have that at the moment. So I'll use you'll go once you have that, you'll go to droplets, create droplet. Sometimes it's kind of slow. So once it comes up, you'll want to change this to 14.04.5 x64. So down here when you want to choose a size, usually 5 is good for smaller sites, but you can always upgrade to 10, 20, whatever else later. I would start off at 5 or 10 though. For this case I'll use 5, and you want to pick a service kind of close to you. Um, just pick one that's in your country or your the country you want to target your audience for this site. So I'm going to just do New York and I'll do three. So you don't have to worry about any of this. And you'll just want to name it. So this one's we'll call this one. Uh, actually, we'll just leave it like that. Um, I think that's about it. And once you do that, you just say create. And you will get an email with your login for this droplet once it's created. Uh, I'm on my actual main computer right now going to my email. The I'm working on a virtual machine for this, that's why the aspect ratio might be a little bit messed up. But it will be okay. So I'm gonna sign into my mail once this is done. And we will be able to see what the code is. Oops, sorry about that. So Okay, so now that this is created, I should get an email here pretty soon with all my login information. And yes, I did. So, once that this is created, you can put this over to the side for now, which I will do. And you're going to want to download two apps. You're going to want to download FileZilla and Putty. So once you have Putty open, you'll be prompted with this where it says like host name, all the information. So what you're going to do is you'll get an email from uh, DigitalOcean about your information. So what you'll do is you'll copy the IP, which can also be found here to log into the site later, right here. And we'll take Putty, we'll open. So everyone's will be the same with this. It'll s ask for login as, you'll say root, which is what everyone's username will be. And once that asks me for my password, I will type in the password which is here. I've tried copying on Linux. It doesn't really work. It works for Windows if you just right click after you copy it. It'll paste it in here. It won't show it, but you just gotta hit enter after you right click it. So I have to manually type this in. So give me one moment. This usually doesn't take too long, but it's just kind of tedious to try to hand type this in. So once you hit enter, it'll ask you for your current password, which you have to retype that in again. So let me do that. Okay, so once that's in, you're gonna create a new password. So this could be anything you want it to be, just to make it something you remember. It's gonna ask you for you to retype it again. And once you hit enter, you'll be logged into your root. Now, what you're going to want to do is, I'll leave a list of commands in the comments below, and you'll have to just type those in here one by one. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do sudo. Let me move my mouse here. Sudo, I'll make this bigger so all of you can see it. So, you're not really going to do much with anything else right now. So, the first thing you're going to type in is sudo apt-get update hit enter and it'll get the update that you need and once that's done it'll reopen the prompt 
I'm not sure how long some of this stuff will take some of you. It's going to also depend on internet speed, all this, some other factors. And once it's done, I'll come back to give you guys the next step. Okay, guys, so that didn't take too long. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do sudo apt-git install apache2, just like that. And we'll hit enter on that. And once this comes up, you're gonna to want to type in Y and then hit enter. Then it'll install in Apache. So once that's done, you're gonna do sudo apt dash git install. Then you're gonna do my SQL dash server. Then you're also gonna do PHP5 dash my SQL. So these two are two separate things you're going to install. So once you hit enter, it'll come with the uh, thing. If you want to do that again, you push Y, enter again. And once that's done, it'll ask you for a new password for your root. This is for your MySQL, which you can make it the same as your uh, VPS, which I would do. So that's what I'm going to do. I want you to retype it. Hit enter, and that will be set up. It may take a moment to download this stuff depending on how good your internet speed is for your VPS. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay guys, it looks like it's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo and we'll do mysql underscore install db. So this is going to install the databases. Uh, it looks like we're good. So now what we'll do is we'll do sudo uh, my SQL underscore secure underscore installation. Okay guys, so once you type that in, it should ask you for your root password. So this will be the one you change it to, so this will be your new one. So you type that in, hit enter, change. Do you change the root password, type in N, enter. Room anonymous users, you can put Y, enter. Save all login remotely, hit no, so N, enter. Room test database and access to it. You want to say yes. So push Y and enter. Reload privilege tables now, Y and then enter. Okay, so now once that's done, you're gonna do you're gonna have a little bit of a longer one now, so you wanna do sudo apt git install php5. So you wanna do a space, I'll do lib apache uh, two dash mod dash php5 now you want to do another one you're going to do php5 dash do that once you enter ask you want to continue yes anytime it says yes use or ask you if you want to do yes or no. Usually you say yes unless it's asking to reset something then it might be no. So just keep that in mind. Um, so the next one you pretty much have to copy in so I'll be right back when I get that one typed in. Hey guys I'm back so sorry about that I have issues with copying and pasting and putty on my virtual machine apparently. So once you get that typed in you just hit enter and what you do is you'll use your uh, arrow keys to move over here We'll go down to the end of index.php and we're going to delete that. And we're going to go over here to the front of index.html and we'll type in index.php. So once you're done with that, you want to do one space there. So it looks something like uh, this. Once it looks like that, what you're going to do is you're going to do control then x. And you'll type y. And then you'll do enter. Okay, guys, next thing you want to do is you're going to type in 
Pseudo service Apache 2 restart. I want you to do that. Then you will do sudo apt dash git update. And once that's done, you're gonna install PHP my admin and you're basically done. I'll show you guys how to do that and I'll tell you come back when you guys is all done. Okay guys, so that just finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sudo apt dash git install php my admin so that's done should to touch y and this will just take a quick second to download you're going to hit enter when it's selected on apache 2 so this shouldn't take too long you're going to hit yes so this is the password, you can use the same one, or you can use a different one. I just use the same one because it's easy to remember. Uh, this is for PHP my admin. And you'll have to confirm your password. And it should be good to go. Now what you do is you'll do sudo php5 um, en mod. this then that should be good now you do sudo we've actually already done this so what we'll do is we'll do sudo service apache2 restart and once that is restarted you can open up your web browser here you can copy this and you should be able to paste this in and it will come up with this if that happens then everything's working just fine for you and in the next episode i'll show you guys how to install the files Get everything working this is just showing that your site is up and working so oh, this means you guys have it completely right so far so if you have any issues getting to this let me know down in the comments go on the discord let me know i'll fix it or help you guys out uh, i'll offer support for this whole setup uh, i'll help you guys completely install it if you really want to i'll also leave a list of all the commands you need in the comments as well as the DigitalOcean link, links to PuTTY and FileZilla. We haven't used FileZilla yet, but it's going to be pretty important when we come to uploading the files. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.